Good evening. I hope everyone's doing well tonight. We are going to be having a talk while I sit down and play Proteus for the Nintendo Switch. So, the last while I've been getting a lot of questions on where various Let's Plays are at, where various uh, videos for a Blind Gamer Long Plays is at, and so I'm going to do my best to try to explain what's going on with a lot of it. As it stands right now, I have basically almost 33 complete long plays for the series of Blind Gamer Long Plays saved to my SSD. All of these videos have been, um, for the most part, attempted to be uploaded to YouTube. And the main issue that I'm running into is various copyright uh, discrepancies. Um, most of the time it's not for the music. It is literally for just the game itself. Why is this an issue? Well, it is an issue because it won't even let me post it. It'll outright block it. So for a while now, um, I have been kind of pacing, uh, pacing out all of my releases. Um, it's not uncommon for me to do six or seven games, you know, over the course of a weekend and stuff. And, you know, subsequently release them as the months have a tendency to go by. So I've had these long plays done for a while now. I have been running into issues for a long time regarding the copyright system on YouTube. I understand why the copyright system is there, but the main issue that I'm running into pretty uh, consistently is that I get a bunch of false copyright claims. Now, when you go and somebody does a copyright claim against you, it flat out tells you, you know, who did the claim and things like that. You can actually see who did it, but, you know, um, it doesn't go too in-depth about it. So, some copyright claims I get, especially for some of the music I use. I am not underneath any sort of delusion whatsoever that I can sit here, use a Weird Al song, and then claim that, you know, it's okay and everything else. The main issue that I have, especially with Disney and such, is it'll use like a 20 to 30 second movie clip, especially on some of like their older games and stuff that they released back for the, um, <coughs> the PlayStation. And so I would have to go and dispute it and then get it unblocked and everything else. The interesting thing about Disney is they often don't respond, so I feel like I can get away with it a little bit. Um, other issues have been plaguing the copyright system for a while now. I have been wanting to go and just make content, essentially, and just be happy with it. The YouTube channel itself is not meant to make money. It's not monetized, due to contrary belief. I just want to go and be able to post my content here and just be really, really content with it. But every time I go to upload something, copyright for this, copyright for that... Um, they copyright music, gameplay, sound effects, just all kinds of stuff. And it's becoming very laborious to make content. Normally I would kind of make fun of it a little bit, you know, but I'm kind of at the point where I go and I work on a lot of these videos uh, quite a bit, and I enjoy doing it. I enjoy making the content. I like the creative process. I like the learning that... Um, happens since I've started doing these, but I kind of get tired of being stonewalled with a lot of things. And so I have reached out to YouTube numerous times about the copyright system, uh, mostly the fraudulent claims and stuff. I don't really sweat too much the, uh, the valid ones because, you know, they're within their right. I feel it's a little bit excessive, but, you know, they're still within their right with various laws and everything else. I haven't heard anything back from them at all except for one time. I had gotten a response back via email and it basically had the you know what you've done vibes don't violate the copyright blah 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 blah. They made no effort to go and even address the fact that a lot of these copyright claims that I'm getting are fraudulent 
I'm not a fan of any of it, really. So, a few viewers, you know, they get kind of short with me. They're like, well, you know, you said you would do this and that and everything else. And what a lot of people fail to realize is that a lot of the time, it's out of my hands. Like, yes, I can go and dispute it and stuff. And while I've had really good success with a lot of it, I don't want to sit there and have to dispute each and every video that I upload, more or less. When I go and dispute these claims, I go and I state, hey, my channel's not monetized. I don't have, uh, what is it, a Patreon or anything else. You know, the channel's just here, just to, well, be here, essentially. It's here because it started off as my archive, and then it started doing, you know, long plays, and I wanted to show people that blind gamers can, you know, still go and do meaningful things as far as video production and gameplay goes and everything else. You know, like I wanted to encourage people. Essentially, that's that's where I was at with that. So when I go and I dispute these copyright claims, I point out the fact, I was like, hey, you know, I'm not making money off of this. And this is never going to be monetized. It's not something you have to worry about. And a lot of the time... You know, they'll just be like, no, we don't want it up there anyways. I know that, um, what is it, Capcom's been really chill about a lot of things. Bungie's been really fucking horrible with a lot of my content and stuff. Um, like, my entire Destiny playlist used to have a ton of videos, and there's like 70, almost 80 videos missing off of it now because of relentlessly trying to copyright each and every little thing that I do. So I feel like YouTube's kind of a dying platform. It's not like what it was when it first opened its doors and stuff. You know, there was a time on YouTube where you could go make content. And instead of people going and screaming copyright, a lot of the time they would be like, oh, hey, that's really cool. You know, you made something really cool. Oh, and it looks like Proteus just locked up. Yep, still stuck. But we're going to go ahead and start again. But um, there was a point in time on YouTube where you could actually go make content and not really have to worry about it back then. You know, people weren't really getting paid to go and make content or anything like that. So they could just go and do whatever. I could understand people wanting to copyright most of the stuff I do if I was making money off of it. You know, I can understand if I was, like, going and making a good bit of money, then, you know, there'd be some incentive to actually want to go and copyright a lot of the stuff that I'm going and working on. But when I have no intent to monetize, when I'm not making any kind of monetary gain off of it, when I'm just doing it for the sake of doing it, for the love of doing it, it feels a bit excessive a lot of the time. I have been copyright striked for sound effects. I've been copyright striked for music, which, you know, I, I get that. You know, I've been copyright striked for gameplay as well. You know, I've just been nailed to the floor for a lot of things. And it seems a bit excessive at times. You know, the music industry last year made, um, was it like $25 billion? I really honestly don't understand what the hell they're hoping to gain out of copyright striking a video that's not even really making money at all. Like, it's not even set up to be monetized and stuff. It's just there for the uh, the sake of being there because I wanted to do something kind of fun or something kind of funny, you know. And So I've been catching heat for the last while because on Twitter, you know, uh, which is going to be um, the news feed for that's going to be migrating to YouTube pretty soon if I choose to continue making content here, um, blatantly has like all the news and stuff and everything else. And I've been, like, announcing that I've been struggling with copyright for a while. Um, YouTube doesn't really want to handle the fake claims. They only want to try to enforce something that is illegitimate, it seems. You know, I have looked up a lot of the entities that go and do the copyright strikes and stuff, and everybody and their grandmother is literally having issues with them. So, as a content creator... A lot of my time and a lot of my love goes into making a lot of these um, 
videos, essentially. You know, there's the recording process for the gameplay, and if it has commentary, you know, that takes up an evening as well, and then there's editing and stuff, and so if it's a one-hour video or like an hour-and-a-half video, I can expect to spend... Uh, what is it at least 10 hours going editing adding commentary things like that you know going and working on these videos takes a fair bit of time and I find that as life ramps up you know I don't really have that much time to go and like be super sustainable like that so the videos were either getting shorter or you know there was other things I would do to try to compensate for not having time and this was typically relegated to the weekends, when I could just sit down and say, oh, okay, I, I have time for this, essentially. And so what would happen is I would go do it on the weekends, and then by the time the next week rolled around, I'd be frequently pretty damn exhausted. And then I would go through the entire week and, you know, go from there. So when you go and you put that kind of time and effort into stuff, you know, when you do it because you're passionate about it, you know, you really just, at the end of the day, you really just want to go and upload it. You know, you want to upload it. You want to have a smile on your face while doing so. But, you know, I can't even upload much of anything anymore because there's always something wrong with it. As a uh, as a rule of thumb, I really just don't trust much of anything that YouTube does. I really just take everything they say with a grain of salt. Um, when I send out an email, I don't even really expect to get one. Uh, what is it? Get one in return at this point. Out of the 22 emails I had sent, I had only received one back. You know, and it was a very generic, uh, very fucked up response that was most likely automated. It had that canned response feel to it. And But as a creator, I think I just want to go, I want to upload my stuff and I want to smile about it. At first I thought this was just an issue with me. I've got friends that do YouTube as well. They have the same damn issue. And they're not getting headway. I have one friend who posts content on here. He's a little bit of a mid-tier YouTuber. And he doesn't even get help. You know, like nobody really gets help for much of anything. And so it is, at least for me at this point, it is a very large problem. So the question I find myself asking is, do I really want to sit here and continue to put in time, effort, and work doing things that I enjoy if I'm not even sure if I'm going to be allotted the uh, the courtesy of being able to post it. You know, these videos don't make money. I do it because I enjoy it. And yet, even though with, um, even though with that reasoning, you know, we've got music executives and everything else still waking out about it, I can understand if I was making a lot of money doing it. I can understand wanting a piece of the pie at that point, you know, trying to enforce it and everything else. But when there's no gain, it literally feels like it's being copyright striked just for the sake of it. It doesn't accomplish anything, and quite frankly, I feel that it's really demoralizing. I So I've had uh, playthroughs of Proteus done for a while now. Every time I post them, copyright strike. Um, most of the time, it is the same five, <clears throat> same five entities that actually go and do the striking. Um, I've tried reaching out to YouTube on Twitter. I've sent various emails. I've looked it up. You know, a lot of people are having the same issues. And so I don't really feel like I'm going to be getting any headway with it. I enjoy doing it. I mean, I'm not the best. I don't have like a production team behind me or anything else. But I, I do enjoy what I do. So the question is, why would I continue to record if I know in the back of my mind that I'm most likely never going to be able to upload it without some sort of huge grievance attached to it? So... This is what I've been thinking about the last while. I've been sitting back trying to take care of my health a fair bit. I had a pretty bad health scare not that far back, but I still wanted to go and do small playthroughs. 
I think the breaking point finally hit when I went to do Ghoul Patrol the other day, as well as Zombies Ate My Neighbor, Neighbors, and they both were copyright striked for intellectual property, which I'm not really sure what the fuck that means. It's a pretty broad fucking, uh, what is it? It's a pretty broad definition as far as I'm concerned. Um, I've had runs of Hexen as well as Heretic that I've wanted to post for a while now. Every time I do, I get copyright striked. Uh, same two people, as usual. I go to reach out to YouTube about it. Nobody's ever there. It's really shitty when I go and I push and I push and I push to go and try to deliver content that people want to see you know like i vote on it all the time on twitter hey what do you guys want to see and i normally get a couple of votes but i go i produce the content and then there's always some sort of issue with it and if there was some sort of support system in place for content creators i think i wouldn't really mind it so much but with youtube giving out nothing but canned responses while proceeding to suck every corporation's dick I really don't see it getting better. I don't see YouTube improving, you know, unless some sort of meaningful change is actually done. I just don't really see me going and having any sort of desire to continue to make content. Like I said, one terabyte SSD with a bunch of videos on it, I can't do shit with any of them because they get striked all the time. So that's pretty much where I've been at with it the last while. Uh, last year, the copyright striking was so damn heavy that when I finally decided to actually go and look at it, you know, like when I decided to say, hey, you know, let's try to resolve some of these, I went to my video list. I found out that I had a uh, 100 that I could go and dispute. And out of those 100, there's only nine that I actually failed to... Uh, successfully dispute so I do actually have pretty good margins when it comes to my success rates and everything else for going and um, for going and actually succeeding the disputes but the point that I'm making is it's very tiresome I mean I enjoy making the videos it's a lot of labor I love doing it but I don't want to go push out a video work on it for you know 10 15 hours push out a video and then spend months going and disputing it because the current system in place is complete and utter dog shit. That is not a life that I really want to live. Do I like doing it? Yes. Do I want to be stuck in limbo with it? No, not really. It's just very disappointing, I think. You know? It's, it's kind of weird. Like, I even see larger YouTubers having issues with it a fair bit. Like, even larger YouTubes are going and bitching about it. And YouTube's response is, oh, well, we can't actually do anything. We're just the mediator. You know, this is kind of why YouTube is dying. Because, you know, it used to be that they would be like, oh, hey, you know, let, let's try to work around it a little bit. But they're so afraid of getting sued, you know, that they're like, well, you know... We, we have to do something about it, so instead of just going and trying to rebuke it, they just go cut off the user a lot of the time and go from there. You know, it's, it's literally one corporation trying to suck off another corporation because if you have a bunch of bad press from various corporations, next thing you know, your advertisers are leaving and everything else. And I find that there's a lot of censorship on YouTube as well. Normally I don't really complain about censorship too much because I don't really give a shit because most of the people I know that complain about censorship, they only do so if they're saying something scuzzy and they get caught for it. I have made videos in the past talking about, um, <clears throat> talking about censorship on YouTube and the video either mysteriously Well, it is all I was saying, I am back. Sorry about that. It turns out that my phone does not like to record videos that are over 20 minutes. So it stopped at the ass end of the censorship section. My apologies. But as I was saying, you know, it's, it's really kind of weird because I've actually posted videos on YouTube that get censored all to high hell. YouTube states that they do not censor anything because 
they believe that um, they believe in the whole freedom of speech bullshit, or at least that's what they've said in the past. But there's been plenty of times where I've posted videos that paste uh, companies in a not so positive light, and they'll mysteriously go missing a lot of the time. I've had it happen with reviews from Amazon. I've also reviewed books in the past on this channel, and they just up and disappear. When I reach out to go and ask about it, the silence, like normal, is deafening. So it just doesn't really feel like it's getting any better. You know, you can't really say anything, you can't use anything, you can't do anything. So the greater question that I find myself asking is, okay, Ram, what can you do? You know, you want to do long plays, you can't really do the mass majority of the games without some sort of discrepancy. You know, how do you go forward from here? The main issue is that I don't really feel like I can. You know, that would, <clears throat> that would indicate that there is some sort of recourse there that I could go and potentially participate in and yet I really just don't see it happening like at all I just don't you know like if I could get them to answer an email or if I could get a chat that did not focus around artificial intelligence and everything else it wouldn't really be so bad but when the silence is deafening like that I just really don't see shit getting better you know, this platform was founded to actually go and have people make original content that they enjoy. And, you know, when it first started, that's how it was. People making a lot of anime music videos, the occasional gaming video, a lot of music videos, just all kinds of stuff. And you can't really do any of that anymore. You know, they want to try to turn it essentially into a... Um, a cable provider, everything's got to be family friendly, you can't really have any sort of swearing, you know, you can't have violence and gore, you just, like, pretty much everything that I utilize in almost every fucking video, you know, is now looked down on and everything else, and <coughs> it just doesn't feel good. And I, I highly doubt it's ever going to feel good. You know, so... To all the people that were like, hey, where's the videos at? Um, <laughs> they're, they're most likely never coming. Oh. Well, you missed one. But, um, you know, it's most likely never coming and stuff. and Which it's shitty. You know, but at the same time, I just don't want to spend the rest of my time, which I already don't really have a lot of going and endlessly rebuking things, and it, it just, uh, it, it really just is not great. You know, I think I'd appreciate these character designs more if they weren't pixelated messes. I understand that they're trying to go with a certain aesthetic here, but Jesus, son. But, um... Yeah, you know, I have so many cool ideas for just content that I want to do, and, you know, most of those ideas are complete, and yet I can't even post them to YouTube because YouTube always finds something to bitch about with it. And it's really shitty. Oh. I have found a rocket launcher. So I just, I, I kind of sit here and it's like been giving me a lot of thought lately and everything else. And, you know, I've been kind of sitting down going, you know, do I really want to continue doing this or do I just want to say to hell with it past a certain point? I mean, large content creators aren't getting any sort of a hand. Small ones sure as hell aren't getting any sort of a hand. I mean, there's just literally nothing being done to try to preserve the community. And when you don't have proper community supports in place, platforms die. You know, they die very slow, very miserable deaths. And it's really shitty, but it's how it is. Because, sort of, Christ, yep, there we go. There's more stuff back here. But, yeah, I've had so many SNES and PlayStation games done and just ready to go. I wrapped up Dino Crisis and did Alone in the Dark and 
I was really crunching it, but, you know, I, I finally got it done, and, you know, I can't really do anything because of the insane amount of cop, whoop, the insane amount of, um, I guess what you would call copyright infringement going on, and I'm just really disappointed with a lot of things. I, I just want to be able to post my stuff. That's really where I'm at with that. I just want to be able to post my stuff and be content with the work that's done. And I don't want to make money. I don't want to be famous. I don't want any of that shit. I just want to go share a couple of cool moments with people, share a couple of games, share a couple of laughs, and that's pretty much it. I don't really think it's asking for too much. I just kind of wish that... I kind of wish YouTube would stop sucking corporate dick long enough to do something productive for their user base. I really do. I'm, I'm very aggravated with it and stuff. and I have no idea what to do with any of these videos now either. It's, it's just real shitty. I mean, they're just kind of sitting there on my hard drive just collecting dust. Like I had the channel... Uh, what is it worked worked up so far into next year and now I can't even really post any of it Oh, you're a big boy But You know like I don't even the funny thing is is I can't even really do photo compilations anymore like the uh, the photo comp that actually came before this both of them for some weird reason even though the photos were taken by me they were like, oh yes, well, you know, those photos belong to somebody else. It's like, how the fuck do you figure? So yes, even my photo comps are under fire and stuff and everything else. And I just, I'm not really too sure what I'm going to do with the channel at this point. It may have to go back to being an archive. Which is really shitty because I was actually enjoying how much it's been blooming the last while. And I've been enjoying doing new things with it and everything else. So, but, oh, there we go. That is going to be the end of the video. I'm sorry if it was a little bit rambly and stuff. I was trying to do this and goddamn I'm exhausted. So, um, hopefully this sheds some light on what the fuck is going on with a lot of this stuff. Um, thank you for coming out. I'll try to find a solution, but I seriously just don't see one in the near future. Until then, uh, whatever content that's up is up. You know, feel free to enjoy it. You can do whatever the hell you want with it. It doesn't really bother me too much. Just enjoy your stay here, and hopefully I'll get to see you guys and make content again pretty soon.